Welcome to Soltron. This is a video review for Don Brothers Omikoshi Phoenix. I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to try using a different phone and um, I haven't actually got to play with this figure yet. So I'm going to figure it out on camera. And here's the back of the box. So it shows like the role play configuration, same for the side. And then the Dononi Taijin combination and then not much on the top and basic nothing on the back. So yeah, let me know if the quality is better or worse with this phone. So he looks pretty good um, in hand. There's a lot of that pale mustardy kind of plastic, which isn't great, but you really gotta love these chrome wings. Like they look really excellent, especially the little picture that's on them. It's pretty awesome. And then of course there are rubber parts, unfortunately. So like the mustache here, the head crest, the whole Phoenix face, that's all rubber parts, which is like my least favorite thing. But overall, pretty good look. It um, It's supposed to be like a portable Japanese shrine, I think, because it kind of doesn't look like anything. Okay, and I don't have the role play toys, so this will be a pretty quick review. Um, so like for points of articulation, he can spread out his wings and then you get this look, which is not bad. He's, he's pretty big. He's got like a 12 inch wingspan right here. Actually, let's see. Yeah, almost exactly 12 inches. So he's, he's a pretty big guy. And then I got this on Amazon Japan. So he was about 50 bucks. And then you can get a good look at the crest here. Yeah, really nice. Love how that looks on camera. So anyway, I think to combine him with Dononi Taijin, we're just going to basically rip everything off that can be ripped off. So this is held on by clips. And then this helmet is also held on by these two little clips that clip onto this piece. And then you get here the shield. And then it's got this handle here. And then you get, let's take a look at this head crest already. Yeah, that looks that looks really good. Yeah, I really like the paint they used on this too. That's a really nice gold paint. Oh, it looks so good. So I'm really excited to combine this guy for the first time. And then you shove this forward. Oh, there's like a button here. Okay, so you push this button and that unlocks him. From this kind of piece, which is going to end up being like, the spear. So really don't like this huge chunk of plastic. I wish this was, was smaller. And then you're going to rip off his torso here. And that's also like the bottom of the spear. And then you get this ready. This is just going to become the chest piece for Dononi Taijin. So that's pretty much all there is to it, I think. Oh yeah. And then he does have like some bot battery operated gimmicks. He's got this little button on the back, which does that. That's pretty good. And then you can get, the set also comes with this. This is the only other thing that comes with him. And this is just going to clip onto here. And this can rotate, but it doesn't really do anything for this role play item. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. And that sound still makes the same sound. So I don't know if this thing does anything else. And it's got all these little extra bits, but I think those are for combinations that I'm not going to do. It's got this other button. Oh, that's probably to combine it with the gun. Okay. So let's see. I guess we'll combine this. We'll get this thing out of the way first. So you take Dononi Taijin's swords. You're just going to peg those together. And then this is going to... No, this way. Slot into here. Oh yeah, that's right. So that pegs into here, and then this is going to peg into here. And then you have your combined spear, which is something. I mean, this by itself is like a role play item, I guess. And then you're going to take Dononi Taijin's 
Okay, he just fell down. His chest piece is here. And you're just going to combine these here for the front of the spear. Okay, that's not too bad looking, actually. It does look like just a wand, I guess. And then there is a little handle with this little slot right here. And this is how he basically holds his weapon because he can't possibly pick this thing up because it's gigantic. And this is where the shaft would be if he could hold it. But I don't know if I really like this set, I'm going to probably modify this into an actual shaft he can hold on to. So he can actually hold this like a spear. And then I'll probably hollow out a few electronics maybe. At least take the battery out so it doesn't weigh as much. So yeah, there's his whole spear. Okay, so I got this set on Amazon Japan. It was like $50 before shipping, I think. And then I also got this plow rail train uh, for the express purpose of making this custom Gao Geiger because the one I bought didn't have this train set which means he didn't have any biceps. So I've custom made that. I'll show that off in another video whenever he gets finished. Anyway, so we're gonna take the crest and it looks like that's just going to, yeah, it's just gonna use these four clips and that's just gonna peg right onto his chest here. Okay, nice and easy. And then we're gonna take his head. We're just gonna take his head and then this just shoves on the front, I think. Um, oh yeah okay i'm not sure how that clipped on but it's in place it's nice and solid you can still look around so that's pretty cool and then you're just going to get his little shield pop that into his hand let me rotate his elbow so he can hold this more correctly Oh yeah, these things really do get in the way. All right, and then finally, we'll rotate this arm around. And get this handle and this fist. Uh, it's pretty much doing it. That's as good as it gets. All right, and there he is. All right, and here he is all combined up. And that's a pretty good look. I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with this combination. It doesn't really destroy his proportions. I, I really don't like this spear at all, but everything else comes together really nicely. Okay, and I'm curious to see like how badly these wings impair his articulation and yeah he can't really yeah his arm doesn't really rotate up here anymore you really got to move this thing out of the way just to get his arm rotation back so these so these do get in the way pretty badly of his articulation and he does have like a couple of other things you can do so Like the shield has his extra parts for his other combination or his ultimate combination. So he's got like this mustache and then uh, a head crest. I don't think these are going to fit on him as is. Yeah, there's definitely no way to put these on him without that other head from Tora Dora. So he does have those two pegs and then I, oops, I don't know how that clips on, maybe friction. Okay, but there is one more thing I can do with this guy. Um, let's just take this off so he's not as cumbersome, is, let's see, well his legs don't rotate around so you actually have to rip his legs off. And then you're going to rotate his waist around and then reattach his legs, which seems really unnecessary, especially if the legs could just rotate. Uh, they have enough pivot that they could just rock the other direction. like. His, leg, his legs could just be on opposite sides. So that was kind of a missed opportunity in the engineering. It seems like his leg should just be able to just rotate around to the, to the back side. But it can't for a few different reasons. There's a lot of little bits of plastic you'd have to shave down. 
already checked it out. Okay, we're just gonna have him lean against the wall so he doesn't fall over again. And then you take the shield piece here, and now these little blue clips will correspond to these. So now it can become a nice waist skirt instead. No, I mean not. Oh, there's actually a third set of clips in the middle, which is ridiculous. There's six clips on this thing. So use the third set of clips and that's going to fit nicely there. And then maybe just rotate these down to give him a slightly different look. And then clip that onto his chest. And now you got this look. All right, and there's his like alternate combination that's more for his ultimate combination. But I think that looks pretty good too, not bad. All right, let's get one last look at his combined form before we sit him down. Oh, I just realized he's got his butt flap on this side now, so he actually can't sit down. Even if you get the premium version, unless it has like this whole section can rotate up, he's not going to be able to sit down anymore with, with his full getup. That's really, that's a little disappointing. Well, anyway, um, I like this set. I'm going to have to sit and think about whether I'm going to keep it or not, but I think it turned out pretty good. And I think this is a better combination than his other combinations. But anyway, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.